Wow, look at all the people here already. Isn't that cool? If you guys can just give a, a note in the discussion channel that you can hear me, that'd be great. Or Bitbender, if you can hear me. I can know. hear you. I can hear you, SageMaker. Awesome. Awesome. Welcome, everybody. Let everybody know we're about to start. Hi, Aku. See you there. Um, let's see. Look at all the all the names. So, and I'm I'm always amazed. There seems to be even some new people here that weren't here last week. There's some old there's favorites. New people, man. There's always new people. It's just everything's growing. That's the way that it goes. It's cool. That's cool. I do see some old old. I don't want to say old favorites. People have been before. Dark Magic, Cow Hunter. I'm going to remember your picture because it looks like uh, one of my dogs. Um, thanks everybody for showing up. We'll give it a minute for the rest of the uh, Townstar crew to pile in and the rest okay. of our audience. Volcron's here. You know, when Volcron shows up, there's usually some tasty things that he's going to share. <laughs> Maybe intentional. Maybe not intentional. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> or for the, or the accidents. New, yeah, <laughs> for for people who are new and haven't been here, for, uh, you know, for a couple of weeks, when Volcron first showed up, I was calling him Tom Holland, because if you guys remember, uh, Tom Holland, Spider Man, uh, was notorious for accidentally leaking things to the press about uh, what Endgame, Infinity War, and everything. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's see who else we got. Mal's here, Michelle's here, Musashi is here. Awesome. And of course, Bitbender's here. Thank you for joining us. Happy to. <laughs> Everybody's piling in. Hopefully, somebody in the in the discussion channel told everybody AMA is starting. AMA is starting. Everybody in there. Thick MK forty seven. Mark, jump on in. Hopefully you guys are here. Who are we? Um, let's see. <laughs> let's, let's, make, let's get our crew in here from the team. I'm going to jump over to Slack for a minute. Uh, why don't you guys carry on, and I'll figure out um, where I'm missing folks are. I feel like pretty much everybody's here. Mal, Masashi, Resaurus, hmm. Volcron. Okay. I thought we had Mysterious Peanut going to join us. Is he joining us today, or do I just misremember that? I, I can hop on chat. stage. Here I am. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, you're here. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> lurking. There we go. <laughs> okay. Got it. Got Supposed it. Just to dumb gifts, you know. <laughs> um, happy Friday, everyone. Awesome. Happy yeah, Friday. Happy Friday. So, you, Michelle, uh, you want to kick us off? We, we still see I still see a couple of people trickling in, but you know it's time. So let's let's get rolling. Get rolling. Sounds good. Let's do it. Um, let's start with what's going on in the Townstar Live game this week, like we usually do. We got a competition week this week. Everybody's making jack o' lanterns. I hope everybody's having a good time. It's nice to not have to make a box for a week. We'll see what happens next time when Mal gets control of everything again. <laughs> I don't know if we've got any leaks coming this week. We'll see. Um, I think that Resaurus has some updates on our production monitor that I think everybody's going to want to see. I, I do. I think I sent those images over to you if you wouldn't mind posting the, the, yeah, the, leak, the, the, chat. the, up, the updated production monitor. It's looking great. We did a little bit of additional work on the UI to tweak it to make it look a little bit more um, intuitive and native to Townstar versus the the dark theme that we had before. Uh, I think it looks really great. Um, the despite what the the image looks like, there is decimals, so um, that is in there. This is just a, a, a UI mockup of what it's going to look like, uh, and it's it's coming along great. I think we're we're still on track to release it before the end of October, and um, yeah, we're working on some really cool stuff. There it is. Well, starting with the leaks early. <laughs> I like this. Leaks. <laughs> Image leak really maybe. Good. I don't know. What do other people think? How does it look? I love it. Were you asking me? 
<laughs> where are you showing it? Is it in? Is it in the, the uh, chat? But <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the, in the chat. Discussion. Oh, yeah. You know, you guys can share screens in here. You know that, right? Like, if you Ooh, want to, that is could... super techy. <laughs> I mean, I just, I just went and stirred up Gala Gold. So, hey, Gala Gold, how are you guys doing this morning? Uh, I think that pregnant pause kind of showed like we can share screens. Really? <laughs> definitely should. We should definitely should do that. Um, Wait, we can't screen so share guys... stage? I could have sworn we could screen 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 share. We can't. Are you serious right now? This is um I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, that. Shit. <laughs> stage? I I I uh... Okay. I think you can well, only do it in a regular voice chat, and then it puts a limit on how many people can actually join the voice chat if you've got a screen shared. Well, I find that to be dumb. <laughs> That's that Discord. Is, that, is, that is my... I yeah, like I was taking it. Was, when, when you said that, Bitbender, I'm like, I feel dumb, because how come we didn't see that no, before? No, no, it's me. It's me. Sorry. Discord says you can't screen share in stage. I think that they should make it so you can. But anyway, awesome. continue. Be... Carry on. My Excuse my me. bad. Everything to look at is in Town Star discussion. <laughs> Did everybody like the production monitor picture? I wasn't even looking at the chat. People loved it. Looks good. Some fires and some hearts and some pizzas. Some thumbs up. Beautiful. Always pizzas. Um, we've also got some fixes coming this Monday for the Trade Depot issues that a lot of people have been experiencing where it just kind of disappears and never comes back. We do think that we've figured that one out. So on Monday, when the update goes live, it should be all fixed. Which will be really good. And I think we've got a new fall theme, which I don't have a leaked image of. But I think we've got a fall theme. Coming in on Monday as well. I don't know if anyone has a picture of that. But I do not. Let me see what I can come up with. Uh, I'm going to do some searching, but we'll see if we can if we can leak it into the into the into the chat. I'll keep you posted. I think that's all that I've got for Townstar Live updates for this week. Okay. We want to jump you know, over what? into Volcron. Oh no! Um, actually, before we do that, um, actually. I would love to. We've got Pitbender here. There's been some yeah. news about Town Cap. There's a lot of questions on that that happened, and, and there was a yes, there's a there voice are. chat hangouts that happened, and so maybe Bitbender, do you want to jump into that? Yeah, yeah. yeah let's talk about it a little bit. So one of the right. things you know, there, there there have been a lot of people who have have been you know very worried about what happens with. Uh, with the, the whole town star economy in the long run. And when we turned off uh, earnings, I believe that was July 19th. Does that sound right? Um, you know, yes. there, there's, a, yes. there's a lot of, a lot of fear and consternation about like, Oh my God, what's going to happen? What's, what's, what's the next step here? And what we've done here. Okay. And, and, and this is a tremendous amount of, of uh, work that has been, go has gone into uh, you know, the whole, next phase of what town star is going to be but some of the key pieces that we need to uh, dig into are the fact that what we're building is an economy that is designed to continue on and be sustainable in the long term so what that means is that you won't have quite the same uh you know sort of token hose that you originally uh <laughs> you originally saw with town which which was not set up in an optimal fashion and i think everyone everyone agrees with that um there may be people who wish it still was but that's an entirely separate issue um you know altogether the important thing about what's going on with town right now is to know that right now the amount of town that exists out there uh which between uh what is on chain on ethereum as the erc20 and uh, in treasure chests, um, do you do you have that final number? Anyone? I don't recall exactly what it was. It's I don't about know. it's it's about five hundred million. Okay, but cl close to close to five hundred million. About five hundred million town yeah. is all of the town that will ever exist. Oh, there you the go. Number Alimi five seven. Yeah. 
yeah, okay. The the amount that exists right now, the number will not be exceeded. And this is this is super important. Now, this does not mean, and I want to be extremely clear about this, this does not mean that there will no longer be earnings. What this means is that the earnings will be based on the town that has been absorbed and the number will go down over time. The total, the total number of town in existence will slowly go down over time. Um, so this is, I think, a good thing for everybody because it indicates that what you're going to see is a long-term sustainable economy um, and a game that continues to grow and continues to expand and continues to get better and better, um, providing additional utility for town over time. So... Does that make sense? Did I did I miss anything there? And I'm watching the town star discussion, so if I missed something, please feel free to to drop it in there. I, I think there's a question if it has something to do with cats. Uh <laughs> no, no, no cats. No cats. Although no. although the internet the internet is uh the internet is a series of tubes through which people send cats, but that's a separate that's a separate issue. <laughs> Um, Sun Jian 206, will Gala buy back town uh, coin to distribute? No, that's not how this works. So basically what will happen is uh, something, will, something will go on sale, okay? Or you will use town to upgrade something in a game, or you will, you know, buy gems. Um, you know, some of the things that are on the roadmap in the future, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of different ways this can happen. That will come, that will, when that purchase happens... Okay, in the future, what will happen is that will actually be a burn. And then a certain amount of that town will then be given as a mint allowance to the people who have earned town through play during the course of the day. Um, and it's there's there's a, a very complex formula that basically makes it like a seven day moving average type thing so that it's not like exactly the same amount. There's a like a little bit of a buffer there. Um, but whatever is whatever is burnt by the community will be reminted by the contract, and that will continue to uh, mean that the supply over time gradually reduces. And I like I'm glad that you like that cow hunter. Uh, absorbed basically just means uh, burnt slash spent slash used. Uh, Mon Monja, um, the, I'm not sure the exact number, but I believe some Galini said it was about 470 million total between what's on chain and, and, uh, and, uh, in, in treasure chests. That's actually 570. 570. Okay. 570. Sorry. So that, that is, that is going to, that is, that is how that's going to work. And you know another another thing that's worth calling out is you kind of touched on it. Um, once that town gets you know uh, burned by the community spending it, how does it go back out, right? And just want to make sure that everybody's clear. You know we'll we'll be um, giving it out to people who win competitions. We'll be giving it to people that have earning NFTs. We'll be giving it to people that run their nodes. So there's still going to be these ways to earn that town back in the ecosystem. Um, if you're playing, if you're participating. Um, running your nodes, all of those things. One minor uh, modification to what you just said, we don't give any one town. Town no, is don't. created, you have a mint allowance, and you can do that. It's all it's all based on smart contract, not just like us, like randomly saying, you get some town, and you get some town. <laughs> Sounds fun. <laughs> uh, Oceans asks, what's going to happen with current NFTs and their former town earnings? Um, those points NFTs uh, will still, points-based NFTs will still earn. I believe there is a, uh, a, a process via which people will go through to, you know, sort of um, balance out and make sure that it makes sense, uh, economically speaking. Although that actually, that actually ties in with another announcement that I know you guys have. I, I I don't want to uh, I watch. <laughs> I don't I, I, I don't want to I don't want to go over overboard and be like, well, this announcement. But I mean, there there, there maybe, is there is a 
maybe send that in Slack so we can check it because now it sounds super mysterious to me too. Well, it's, it's not. It's not. There was a, there was an event that occurred yesterday regarding some things, some stuff. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh. Wow. Yeah. So we can Listen go over that. Um, I okay. was just looking. Is the link so, already so, out? Uh, I don't think we've sent the link out, but anyone who looks at the contract could see it. Um, but yes, I see what, what you mean. I know, I know which event you're talking about now. Yes, I'm glad. You know, so, so, <laughs> so the, 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 the relevance of this is that, is that uh, those, some of those initial point values were determined based on on-chain scarcity of, of items. Okay, so if only a certain number of items existed, then, then that was one of the things that went into you know, looking at what those were. Um, yeah, I'll let you take it from there, Mal. Yeah, so as we'd mentioned in some previous AMAs, there was going to be some burns happening. Uh, as Sage said last week, that would have got really long if we tried doing it the way we were going to. So we've yeah. gone and just done it all. And um, I'm going to post a transaction for everyone to see in the Townstar channel just this second. And I'm going to see if Mysterious Peanut is going to leak the rest because I'm not sure if I'm supposed to, but I can definitely talk about the burn. I'm just going to post that now. Boom. It's like we have a leaky. Everything's leaky everywhere. <laughs> I know. I don't even know what I'm supposed to leak. <laughs> you, you just leaked it. Leaky, I was leaky. thinking, are we going to talk about the rest of it? The rest of the event? Or are we? Or is it a wait on the, the rest of the event? Oh, that's a nice looking fall theme. Yeah, look at this. Mm. We've just got so many leaks. They're they're stomping on top of each other. Thanks for yeah. posting that. <laughs> I think that's part of the uh, uh, Bitbender when you say, "Hey, something else happened." There's there's a lot of things happening behind the scenes, and so um, it's just a question of which one of the the ones we we're, were talking about. So, well, I think I think um, the important thing here is is when we oh let's not never mind. Or maybe Mysterious maybe Penis says no. Actually, we I can do we, it. I don't. I'm not. I'm not going to stop this one. <laughs> I, I, I think we need to. So okay, yeah, so let's do it. One let's of the things. Defender, oh, go for it. Yeah, no, I'll do it. I'll do it because <laughs> you know you guys know that I I love I love Townstar. I love mm -hmm. Townstar, but more than I love Townstar, I hate our. our I, I'm reading other things. I shouldn't read at the same time as I talk. Um, as much as I love Townstar. When I look at our whole economy, okay, uh, I really love what we're building across this entire ecosystem. And the there there's been a number of people lately um, who have felt that uh, founders nodes were not getting uh, the the credit that they deserve for supporting the ecosystem the way that they have. So. When we started looking at, you know, doing this this burn, okay, which is a thing that we've promised to do, um, and you know, this so this is I think a burn of pretty much all of uh, the surplus uh, surplus earning NFTs, okay, that we we had had uh, minus some that we still have in our vault, which we use for giveaways and stuff, as you guys know. Um, the <laughs> I love you, one odd gent. That's amazing. Um, one of the things that we wanted to do is we're like, well, if we're going to get rid of all of these, you know, and I know that the founders nodes have, have, you know, felt over the, in the past that, you know, sometimes they, they wanted larger drops, et cetera. Um, we decided to drop 2.5% of all of those additional NFTs uh, that were burnt um, all at once to the founders nodes. So that's going to be a thing that comes at some point in time in the future. Um, I do not know. Um, I do not know when that will be, but at some point in time in the future. And so, uh, if you're running a founders node, you will likely get some Townstar NFTs, perhaps. Um, you know, I don't. I don't think there's quite enough for for each founders node to get one, but but it, it's a provably random distribution and. You have a better chance than in a normal drop. Let's put it that way. 
Um, and um, so Rasta kept Townstar nodes don't get NFT drops in this case, but there's other stuff coming for Townstar nodes in the future too. So, you know, just, just note. Yeah, that. Was, I'll jump in on that one. I'll jump in on Please. that one. Um, yeah, we just, uh, just so everybody knows, and this is kind of the communication process we've used for months now, which is cool is when we have the real information, we, we care about, you know, economy, we care about. Uh, town star node holders, founders node holders, and uh, people have NFTs that earn. And what? How's the? What's the future going to be on that? Um, we have every. We we do our best to have everybody's best interest at heart. And so when we're saying we're not ready yet to talk about uh, town star node holders, uh, you, you know we have stuff in mind and planning on it, uh, including, you know, some of the discussions I mentioned before about um, how you know how the team might use them and have them have some functionality inside of it. So it's coming. Uh, thanks for your patience on that. Awesome, guys. So yeah, I, I'm glad you like the Founders Node part, Rocket Unit. I appreciate that. Rocket Unit is a great contributor to the ecosystem. I know that uh, he's done some writing some people have told me about, and uh, we always appreciate that. I actually had a post on Twitter. Um, I'm actually going to drop it into the channel because you know I think it's it's important. Um, one of the things that I absolutely love about this space is that this is a space where if you uh, if you believe something and you want to help something and you want to see something grow, you actually have the ability to contribute. Um, and I really, really, really appreciate all of you that have, um, you know, contributed over time to, you know, helping us with ideas, with concepts, with pictures, with memes. I absolutely love it. You guys are amazing. So I just dropped that in the uh, in the chat, so you can you can check that out. Oh my goodness! Something just happened. Citizen X. Well, people are seeing the next leave <laughs> leak. <laughs> oh, we're not leaking fast enough. <laughs> we're what? not leaking fast enough today. It's it's coming. <laughs> it's coming too fast. <laughs> oh boy. Do we have a top so, point so, two so, on? To Oh, actually, yeah, let's, yeah, let's, that's let's talk about zone. You were saying. No, talk about zone four. I want to hear about it. Do we have top boy Q on today in the stage? Let me check. You have hey, something yes. top boy Q. Do you want to leak this one or Mal? You you stealing the thunder? <laughs> I'll, I'll let Mal talk about zone four, uh, and then I'll talk right. a little bit about zone three that's coming up on Monday. Perfect. We'll leak into leak. So. You will notice if you've played in the last 13 days and made more than 66 trades or 66 plus trades, you will have been given a zone four piece of the maze. So congratulations for everyone there who was playing. We like to obviously reward our active players. Um, so enjoy that part of the giveaway, the last part of the miss, uh, the spooky surprise. And I will let a top boy go into the next part of the maze that everyone's definitely excited to hear about. Yeah, so you guys knew it was coming. Uh, the fourth and final piece, well, it's the third piece, but the one going on sale on Monday is a legendary Zone 3. Uh, the supply is going to be 300 and I know there's been some speculation around the price. You'll find that 330 is a really good price for this, uh, given all the utility that you're getting with this piece specifically uh, and for collecting all four of them so $330 is the price and it'll be available in town and credit card so excited excited for this sale and uh, yeah I know you guys yeah and just a, sorry go ahead that's it no, I was gonna say just as a reminder the uh, zone 2 was to the people who'd engaged in the sales since was it April August and now first. zone four, August first. Oh, sorry, April, August first, and then till now, and then the players also. So there's two parts being given away. That's the passive clay and a passive nectar. And remember that when you get all four maze pieces, that the utility doubles. So all the passive effects double, and your cows and sheep get twenty five percent faster. You do not need these connected when they are placed, so you can have them spread around the town for the various utilities and still get the four buff. Just to be a little specific there, Mel, it's uh, August 1st to October 13th, 
for anyone who made a purchase in the Townstar store. Uh, and then for this Maze 4, it's um, 66 trades at the minimum in the first 13 days of October. If you're wondering why 13, I don't need to say more. 13 is the creepiest number we could think of in Halloween or in October. <laughs> so 13 it was. If you're in the in the, the discussion chat, I just posted a video of all four pieces in action for the mazes. That looks super cool. Yeah, the art for these mazes is absolutely beautiful. Definitely. Ooh, I like the oh, uh, game relaunch targeting three months. It's uh, less than three months. Le less than three months. Yeah, two pretty... months and 20, 29 days. I don't know. <laughs> we're, we're, we're working on that. As soon as we have an official date, of course, we'll announce it. Um, but we want to get we want people to play as soon as possible as well. Yeah, I love the the video you posted. Um, it's so cool just to see all the little pieces of art and all of them moving. Each one of those is so cool. You can spend a bit of time just looking at it. Um, really awesome to see all that together. Um, Are we all done with wow, all of our so <laughs> Yeah, I know. It just feels like we have just had a... It just a giant waterfall of leaks, and I'm I'm a little bit stunned here, um, in, in the silence. It, before we move on, is there any more notes or uh, questions on the cap? We've got Bitbender here. He's got a lot of information experience. Make sure before we move on to other stuff. And Burgundy's here. What? Hello, Burgundy. Burgundy's here. Yeah, Burgundy's awesome. I met Burgundy I at the uh, yeah Galliquest. I mean Gallivers. Yeah, Gallivers. No, I I met Burgundy there, but then I also met Burgundy at uh, at Binance Blockchain Week in Paris, where I hung out with him and Audrey and a bunch of the rest of the community there. It was a ton of fun, and uh, yeah, it was, it was good yeah, time. Burgundy told me if we went to his hometown and just yelled out his name, people would be able to tell us where he is. I have, z Apparently. having hung out with him, I have no doubt about this whatsoever. <laughs> None. I know that this is the case. Well, there you go. I'll start singing and bring you to my home. Uh, there you go. There you go. And, and I'm sure at his home, he has amazingly good wine and amazingly good cheese. And uh, yeah. So, uh, I, 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 when we went out to dinner in Paris, we went to this restaurant and it was this, uh, it was what, what to please keep in mind that I'm a, a country bumpkin. Okay. Uh, we went to this restaurant and it was a very, is a nice restaurant and Burgundy's like, ah, oh, this is just this, this silly little thing, whatever. It's very, very normal, whatever. And then they started bringing out like salmon foam and things like that. It was his standards for cuisine are much higher than mine, but I'm still going to go hang out at his house and uh, and uh, probably dig for some potatoes or something like that when I need to get my farming <laughs> fix on. Okay, right, uh, so, so Ink, Ink, Ink Knight had a question. I want to I want to answer Ink Knight's question though really quick. Um, uh, explain how OG NFT still earn town. They earn town the same way that they they will, or, or they earned town in the past the same way that they will in the future. Um, it's a point-based distribution for a certain part of the, the, the daily distribution, which is based on uh, how much town has been burnt over the last X period. Um, so essentially exactly the same way, just with uh, a bit of a difference in terms of, of what that quantity is, because it's based on the burn. Well, so I'll jump in on Willow. I like so thick. Yeah, uh, MK7. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll announce the white paper. Uh, actually, roll out the white paper in the next couple of weeks, and that'll be able to answer all the, all the detailed questions on that. Yeah. Where, uh, the, I can tell you the top level thing we're doing as much as we can to simplify everything, make it very, very yeah. simple for everybody who knows what's going on. 
uh, a cryptic is the burning of NFTs affected the points earning of the NFTs? Um, not directly, but there is going to be a probably a retuning to bring things in line in a way that makes uh, makes a bit more a bit more sense. So I don't know exactly what that's going to be yet, though. We'll have to figure that out. Yeah. Let's, uh, I think we can move on to other new <laughs> stuff, uh, Michelle. I'm, wa I'm watching everybody's uh, messages here and making me chuckle. Well, what else do we have to share today, Michelle? Uh, we didn't really do anything except for leaks so far, so we're still on Townstar Forever updates, if we have any. I'm not sure what Volcron's got this week oh. for us. Not sure. <laughs> You saw the video. Um, yeah, you, you want to do the video. No, you're right. <laughs> Townstar Forever updates now. Mr. SageMaker, you ready for that? Yeah, do it. All right. All right, I'll post a, a quick vid in discussion. I uh, made this last night with some of just the last week of progress. So if you're wondering, like, hey, where's all that cool stuff that's in one of the pin messages? I don't, just for the reason of size, I try not to smoosh all that together. So, yeah, that one's cool. You'll see um, town renaming. You'll see improved info panels, uh, wind pump, um, all kinds of stuff. I won't tell you exactly what you'll see in there. I'll click on the link. Um, gosh, I don't know. Do you think people are interested? I could talk about some of these things that we've done, like our XP bar leveling up, of course, and um, persistence, how we're saving yeah. the towns now and stuff like that. Um, yeah, share some more about that. Okay. People love okay. hearing that stuff. I think. All right. Yeah, well we're you know, we're parody is a big part of it, right? So a lot of what we've been doing so far has been pulling over the features that we all enjoy, um, as well as adding the new stuff like the XP bar and leveling up. So it's cool to see that come together with work on um flushing and rotating. Uh destroying is still in progress, so normally I don't like to mention stuff until we're done with it, but and, you know, as part of that action bar, you'll see it on there. Um, and then all the buildings and crops, um, just some of the things done, the windmill, the tree farm, oak tree farm, lumber yard, oil pump, wind turbine, warehouse. Um, and then I guess some of the interesting details, I think I touched on this last week a little, are the idea of when we talk about workers and buildings leveling up together. So I... I don't know if you want me to go into that at all, but basically the idea is, you know, certain events will cause your workers or buildings to level up. And so that worker now kind of has a home building. So you can imagine as you're playing the game, it might make some of the strategy a little different in terms of, do I really want to destroy this building because now I have like a level three worker or something in it. So that that's an interesting, that's been kind of fun to play around with. We've added, um, oh yeah, the ponds and the paved roads. Anybody who's seen our subgrid placement in one of the older videos, one of the questions came up about, you know, oh that, you know, that seems like that'll be complicated if you have a road that's half connected to another road, right? So, oh, somebody's <laughs> the bank. <laughs> um, okay, well. For for the careful observers, you'll notice sometimes I put things in there and don't mention them uh, just to see if people are paying attention. So I'm impressed. Uh, the bank is one of those things that we're playing with right now, just just in dev. Uh, no promises. It's it's not part of the big, you know, big uh, release plan or anything. It was just something a person threw in there in about a half hour. And it was um, just one of those neat dev features we're playing with where we're like, well, what if in order to get money from a sale, a banker or somebody had to walk from the truck to the bank. So that's what that was. Um, no promise that it's going live or that it'll even pass the play tests here. People might hate it. So let's see. I'm going to check the messages real quick. Okay. Um, and then I guess I'm, I'm going to try to make this, this kind of talk about the invisible things in a way that's interesting to people. You know how, like, we touched on automated testing last week. You know how important it is? Everybody wants to have really good tests, but nobody, it's very hard to prioritize the time versus features. 
one of the improvements we've made this week is that the automated testing now will actually stop a deployment if it finds bugs, um, which I think is amazing. I know some of the Townstar community on occasion has run into maybe a bug that resurfaced after a week or two, and uh, we're doing our best to stop that from ever happening, right? So on Townstar Maybe you forever. could just jump in and share just a touch about what, you know, what automated, what is automated testing? Why is it so oh, cool for you? okay. Sure, yeah. Well, uh, let's say you have some complicated town and you have an array of, let's say, let's see, hold on, let me see this question. If split can workers walk across them using that little land? It's a good question. The uh, nav mesh does wrap around edges. So Willow, I will see, I will set that up and actually look at that later. Let me pin this message. Yeah, so automated testing, basically, as, as you're writing code, you know, there's always the joke about, hey, who's the idiot that wrote this code? Oh, God, it was me seven months ago. So what we do is when we're writing code, you put, you put in the tests so that when you run those, you're like, okay, with all the domain knowledge I have of what I'm doing right now, here's exactly how these routines should function. So you write it, you test it, cool, it all works. And then you kind of forget about it. And then six months later, somebody who doesn't know that code comes in, they make a change, and they inadvertently, you know, you, you touch one thing and then something else breaks. The test fires off and says, hey, your changes to, let's say, unit pathing also broke, let's say, uh, placement. And the dev is like, oh, crap, I didn't realize they were connected in that way. So it stops a lot of innocent mistakes. And um, in some ways, it also acts as little miniature tutorials in the code base. So it's... Um, I don't know if that would answer the question. I think <laughs> maker, but, but one yeah. of the things, yeah, I'll, I'll just jump in there. So you guys know what it's like when you get you get a game and you start playing it, and there's a bug in it, and sometimes you're like, did anybody even test this, right? Um, and so to get around that, as game makers, we have larger and larger groups of QA people, testers, that actually get in there and run through every feature as it's made, then have to go back and do regression testing, test the rest of the game to make sure nothing broke. So when we have automated testing, we can allow, um, you know, allow software to do that testing. Saves us time and on the people side, but also does exactly what Volcron said, where it just checks everything automatically. Right? And so, well, not automatically, you've got to run it, but it tests things. And that just helps mm -hmm. make sure that the game, when it gets into all the players' hands, is you know, we don't have any inadvertent bugs or things that we, we missed as we're as we yeah. the door. And a lot of these processes at different studios can be manual, you know, just for the sake of time. Like, oh, did you run the tests? But our amazing QA and um, DevOps and backend guys have made it so that if the tests fail, it actually won't even deploy, which is just awesome. So great work from those yeah. guys. Um, yeah, other than that, I think uh, the video kind of speaks for itself. And that's it for my update. Yeah, here Quiz, how many people watch that video? What's the name of that town there? <laughs> I, I, I think Volcrum memorialized himself in the history of Townstar now. Volktonville, uh, Chuck, what? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, okay. Well, <gasps> thanks, Volcrum. Uh, let's move on to the next stuff. I know we still have a few more things to talk about, right, Michelle? Yeah, there's not much. I feel like a lot of the questions that were on the list to be answered have already been answered. Yeah. Uh, I think we got one question that. that I do have is if we keep adding stuff on live while developing forever, how long before the two have the same features? What is the ratio of new features on live versus what is developed on forever? Uh, that's, a, that's a kind of a weird long question. <laughs> um, the goal will be at some point we'll, we'll just switch over and bring all full development of new features onto live as well. You know, first step is catching up, getting the parity, and then that transition, which we just quite haven't figured out yet, when it's time to have everybody just move over to live and have this, excuse me, to forever have the same features. That's just a, that's a production question. And we'll kind of figure out as we go, depending how the code comes together. And, um, but, you know, to sort of to back up a step, yeah, it's um, what I love. Townstar Live team is doing a lot of really great work. And so it makes me feel that the pressure of let's, let's hurry up with the Godot code base and get those features and get that, you know, the game fully transitioned over to Godot. 
for all sorts of reasons, you know, cheating and everything else we talked about, but also the idea that um, we we code the feature once and it and it lives. We don't have to code it once on long and then port it over and code it again on not forever. As soon as we can get there, we'll get there. Uh, Jetty has a comment or a question here for you um, about splitting okay. the player base. Um, my understanding, and I could be wrong, is that that getting getting Townstar uh the, the the new version of townstar the godot version of the townstar of townstar up to parity with the existing version and then splitting from there right or not splitting what from there say? but like s s switching over from one to the other so they're yep. essentially the yeah. same game and then continuing yep. to grow from there okay there you go so there is that's, not a split split player base right right it'll it's, be in what go ahead go ahead I was going to say, what, what we'll see, the, the intention is that when we get the features up and running on Godot, you know, we'll be doing some tests. I mean, closed alpha, closed beta, something like that, to be able to take advantage of, you know, all the weird situations that happen when you release software out to, you know, to the world. Um, and once those are all hammered out, that's the kind of the awkward period of, you, you know, you're going to be switching soon uh, to the Godot version, so you want to be very careful about over-investing in the live version, but you still need to keep feature parity. But there'll be a there'll be a transition mode, and you can expect it to be. We got Townstar live running, we got Townstar Godot and some testing kind of mode, and when we feel the tests are complete and stable, then we'll move everybody over to it. There you go. I love I love the uh, everything that you guys have been doing here, and please forgive me to keep dropping a damn marker. That's the noisiest thing in the entire world. Does anyone else have any questions? Is there anything else we can talk about? The only other questions that I have that were submitted are economy questions that I feel like we answered most of them. I can read them again if we want to reiterate the answers one more time, or we can take live <laughs> questions, whatever's best. Let's let's do we we do have that little extra thing still to talk about. Um, are we ready to talk about? Uh, I don't know the thing my cursor is highlighting right there. There you go. I see you there in the in the uh, Notion doc as well. With the the Gleam winners. Yeah, we oh, did yeah. draw Gleam winners. There are five Gleam winners. Um, I've got to get all the details put together, and then I can make an announcement right after the AMA. Um, I don't know what everyone's. Mm -hmm names are it was my first gleam campaign so i'm still trying to figure it all out i do let's, have everyone's discord handles well let's uh let's let's ta if you have their discord handles tag them in discord i will let me get that typed up and just um can, can you i don't know, maybe bit bender while she's doing it talk about what the gleam competition was I mean, i don't know if everybody yeah, sure. in discord knows what that is um, so I, and if that's the case, then we obviously need to do a better job about talking about these things. Hold on. Gleam is, uh, loading. So basically, um, man, my internet is broken today. So there's a haunted maze NFT giveaway in Gleam, a total of 9,503 entries. Okay. Um, and we have, we have some winners here and let me see. We've got a couple. We've got a couple Discord, uh, Discord names and Twitter names here that we can talk about. Do you have all of their Discords? I'm not seeing all the Discords to work on. I that. have but, them um, all. Okay, cool. So it looks like we got uh, we got some people from uh, one person from Greece, uh, one person from Italy, two people from Thailand. Sawadee kap. I might actually know one of you. Um, and somebody from Brazil, which is super cool. Um, so the way that Gleam basically works is the more stuff that you do to get involved in the competition, the more uh, opportunity that you have to potentially win. Um, and all sorts of uh, activities like, you know, sharing with your friends, uh, retweeting, visiting, talking about people, uh, making posts, all sorts of different things can can get you part of that. Um, 
And uh, I think we like doing these, and we're going to do a lot more of them. So, yeah. Next time, we will, we will see if we can do a uh, little bit bigger of a push to get the rest of the community more deeply involved. And uh, Farmer Michelle, do we have any uh, notes on the next Gleam competition we're running? Do we want to talk about that? I'm not sure if we've got any of those final details all figured out. It'll right. definitely be going live on Monday. All right. Well, stay tuned for Monday then. We will be sure to, to let you all know the next one that's coming. There should be um, some more fun in that one. Oh, there you go. There's the five winners I right there. Just in now, leak that I can share. Yeah, go for it. I'm, I'm curious what that is. So the founder node drop has just happened right now. It's just finished. Oh, so oh. It's already, that's just We've gone out right it. now. Live. <laughs> Everyone go and check. That's exciting. I want to see if I got something. I mean, I haven't gotten a node drop in forever. Nice. I got a buggy water water butt. That makes me happy. Oh, I love Buggy. He's so cute. Nice job. Congratulations, everybody who won stuff today. Oh, I didn't get nothing. Sad face. <laughs> oh. I I I learned that a wheat storage. It's awesome. There you go. There you go. All right, so man, this is just a this is just a fully packed day here. Um, yeah, I think we hit the bottom of our agenda. <laughs> we we hit well, the bottom I, of our agenda. I actually have to hop off because I got to go do some things. Um, but I will I will be here and hanging out, and uh, we'll definitely uh spend a lot more time in here with the and i will be spending a lot more time in here with in with the community with you guys in the very near future thank you so much for joining us today Bitbender. it's always a treat yeah to thanks have awesome peace out guys thank you Bye, see, you, see you soon uh I, I think it's time for any like last minute questions right kind of wrap-up questions yeah i don't know it feels again it, it feels like uh uh, somebody posted that picture of needing a nap after all the leaks. I agree. Gallon noodle? Yeah. I mean, we've got I one more. Similar. I've got a slight hint of a leak for oh, the next mess. Okay. That's coming. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. More. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, you know, this is the biggest and the baddest one we've ever done. So I'm just going to remind people that this is not a standard thing you're going to expect. I know everyone's been enjoying the Jack o' Lantern meta. That was a nice break for you all, so I hope you enjoy that. Then Willow hisses. Mm. We'll see. So the next one. If you look at the boxing facility, which I've always said is a meta map, if you were to just look at the back of it and take away the food parcel, then you can see the next meta, the tier nine, the stacked boxes. And you'll notice that it's going to be, that makes two new crafts going in, which be a stacked box craft, and then another craft, another box that's got to go in to finish that. But this is the big bad box, yes, Jedi. I see Dubstep trying to figure it out. So you can go and look at the back of the boxing facility. And obviously the next day of May, I'll give you all the juicy goss, and you'll probably drag some out of me in Discord as well. But this is the final big boy of all the crazy metas for now anyway. We're not speaking for the future, but this is a big one. It's just a fun one. There's going to be other things buffed. So if you do not fancy doing a ridiculous build, then do not worry. You can do some of the other stuff because I'm sure this one isn't for everyone. Yes, no more. You can relax. It's the biggest and the baddest and the final. It's the boss. It's the boss meta. You'll all be such experts after it, though, I'm sure. 
Uh, look at all those boxes. <laughs> so many boxes in the discussion channel right now. I see people and asking boxing. what card it is. That's a big one that they want to know. I'm torn on two. Two ones that I think will be very popular for such a well-earned competition, you know. I wonder if people can guess the two that I'm torn between. You can keep trying to drag them out of me over the week in Discord if you want. What two things am I thinking between that could have a ghost card for? Stacked boxes, Citizen X, if that's what you're asking for the next meta. Remove the food parcel off the top of the um, boxing facility and you'll see it. I put that on as a way to sort of fool everyone. You'll see them on top as well. But uh, it's in there and you can see what you've been making. No, you'll need to sell 10 of them. It's going to be a hell one. It's going to be fun. I have no more leaks, by the way. That's okay. me. I'm going to. I think we can stop leaking things now. I think it's over, everyone. I, I think we, we have come to the conclusion of the massive, massive leak party that was today's, today's AMA. Um, but what do you say, guys? It's time time to wrap. I think, Michelle. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. That was an awesome AMA. There was tons of information. If you guys out there have more questions, put them in the AMA form. I'll share it in the announcement channel again. It's also in that AMA feed channel. We'll try to get the video up as soon as possible. I know the last couple of weeks it's been a little bit slower than usual, but we'll try to get right back on that. Hopefully, have it up by Tuesday. Awesome. And hopefully somebody will go through and create a summary and pin it notes to everybody who wasn't here. Because I know as soon as we get out of this, there's going to be, hey, what did I miss? <laughs> so, uh, well, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and wrap. Thank you, everybody. Uh, all, all of us here on stage really appreciate you guys. Two things, joining us today, sharing, and of course, all of the awesome work that you're, you guys are doing on the various parts of Tenstar. That's really making it special. Yeah, I just want to echo that, you know, a lot of these things we're doing, it's because we have such an amazing community. Uh, we want, want you to have, you know, all this cool art, uh, fun new metas to play with as, as we're continuing to, you know, put a lot of time and energy into this game. So thanks for being here. Really awesome. So today, I think I'm going to, I've got to jump off into another meeting, but I'll let somebody, uh, somebody else talk everyone out. It was really great to see everybody. Um, good luck, and we'll see you next week. I'll also be in Discord randomly throughout the weekend next week, so I'll see you there. Thanks, everybody. Peace Thanks, out, everyone. Man. Take care. Thanks, all. I guess it's us, Farmer Michelle and Ria Sor is talking everyone out. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Yeah. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> now I'm just going through and looking all the names. Oceans, Para, Dubstep, Rod. I recognize that name. Thanks for being here. Smooth Harry. Dark Magician. <laughs>